Hey everyone, I really hope that you are well. Now, 1 plus 1 equals 2. That happens every day. That is not magic. That's the grind. That's when you get up, 1. Go virtually to school, 1. Go to bed, 2. It is the simplicity of life, but it's so dull. But when 1 plus 1 equals 3, that's when your life changes and you see everything new. And these are days when you are visited by visions. When the world around you brings down the spirit and you feel blessed to be alive. It is the essential equation of life. There is no love without 1 plus 1 equaling 3. It is the essential equation of art. And it is the reason the universe will never be fully comprehensible. So how do we find that missing one? What piece are we missing? How do we shift from this pattern of repetitive continuum? This Sunday at church was the fourth Sunday in ordinary time. A time in the church that is just ordinary. But in fact it wasn't. The bishops of England and Wales dedicated Sunday as the Sunday for Racial Justice. Us, as loving humans, but also as a young society, we are deeply passionate about equality in all senses of the word. Acceptance of religions, ethnicities, rights for all, gender equality, gender neutrality, the list goes on and on as it should. We are so aware of individualism and the persecution that so many face for celebrating and having confidence in themselves. But do we often voice our support for our friends? Those across the world who aren't given this love that they rightly deserve. Do we sit silent if we hear people speaking ill of our fellow man? If you are sitting listening to me with any feeling of resonance that yes, this is something I can help with. This is your one. When your life changes for good. Now, is this the push that you need to go out into the world? To unify and aid those wrongly targeted because of the colour of their skin? To sign petitions and help charities to hone in on their goals? To be God's nation of caregivers and prophets of peace? If not, if you are sitting there thinking, this is really important, but I don't know what I can do, then so be it. There are so many things that make us into who we are today. The first reading from Sunday was from the book of Deuteronomy. It instructed us to stand up, to be prophets of hope for those who can't. Racial Justice Sunday calls us to remember our Christian ideology, that love is the greatest commandment, to be revolutionists for positive, for positive change in the world that God gave us. It is an extension of our calling as a united global family, with all our brothers and sisters of all religions, all ethnicities and all races. We are blessed and privileged to have an education, one rooted in love. Even if we don't always see it, we know what is right and hope to change what is wrong. We are all going to find our one. Our goal for this week in the gloom of these grey days is to let us dream, let us set goals of a bright future, look at campaigns, charities, organisations that tackle something you are passionate about. Seek out what you can do and you will all find that one plus one is three. I'm going to end this reflection with some song lyrics as our prayer. They come from a song written by Bruce Springsteen, who I also stole this one plus one equaling three idea. So let us bow our heads and turn to the Lord and ask for his grace. Lord God, 
You are our guide, our creator, and the key to our hearts. Open them to new responsibilities, to help our fellow man through our gifts. Announce this prayer to our universal family as we say, I will provide for you, and I will stand by your side. You need a good companion now, for this part of the ride. Leave behind your sorrows, and let this day be the last. Tomorrow there will be sunshine, and all this darkness past. Big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams, so meet me in a land of hopes and dreams.